I'm Ozzy Griffin, and this is a video for SexualFuturist.com. You got a special one today. Uh, I've been haranguing my parents on uh, how they brought me, my brother, and my sister up, uh, re sexuality and our uh, gender identity, and a few other things. And um, not that any of the, that was ever really an issue with um, most of us. What I can say is, my mum has a couple of rules, hard and fast. One, pick one source of uh, information, even if it's your own reasoning, and stick with it, no matter what. Because nothing's worse, she says, than giving kids contradictory answers. Two, once you've picked your source of information, present said information with no drama, just be blindingly straightforward, and leave it at that. Kid asks a question, kid gets answer. No giggling, no blushing, no uh, embarrassing moments. If you think a kid's getting too personal with the questions, say that's getting a bit personal rather than um, solid information. So, after that, um, they had a book that they used for all three of us called Where Did I Come From? And as far as uh, sperm and eggs interacting, that was pretty definitive, and uh, I think it set most of us up pretty well uh, to understand what exactly we were dealing with, uh, which is us. Uh, that's as far as the physical stuff goes. Uh, that's at least at home. When it came to school, I had a great teacher called Mrs. Mary in grade 5. Uh, she took long sheets of butcher's paper. She had each of us uh, lie down on We drew an outline around each other in texture. Uh, some people did the respiratory tract, and so we drew in the lungs and the esophagus, the nose, the mouth, yada yada yada. Uh, some people did the nervous system, they drew out the spine and the nerves and the brain. Some people did the cardiovascular system, the veins and the heart, uh, and, some, and even the lungs to a certain extent. And some people did the uh, genitalia, they did the sexual reproductive organs. And... The kids asked honest questions. Most kids just want to know. They don't want giggling. They don't want blushing. They don't want embarrassment. They just want to know. And when you tell them, they're like, huh, that's it. And that's it. The subject's dropped. As far as sexuality goes, I'm vanilla, okay? And if you've seen my YouTube channel, some people would argue with a trace of nuts. <laughs> what I'm saying amidst my bad jokes is... I never had to question my gender identity, my sexuality, or anything else. In a heterosexual society, I'm pretty much built for it. Uh, maybe I don't have the same sex drive as everyone else is supposed to have. However, I'm really not bothered by that. So, yeah. As far as sexuality goes, my, par my parents did challenge me. Well, no, that's wrong. I challenged my parents when I thought they were going to bring up someone I knew and uh, their sexuality being different. As a matter of fact, uh, it turns out that wasn't what they were bringing up. I jumped down their throat saying that I'd defend them to the hilt, and they're like, oh, that. Well, it's not our thing, and we don't particularly like it. However, we're not going to tell you what to do with your life. True story. So, they they were the kind of people that stated their position yet they weren't going to follow it up with fire, brimstone, cutting off your inheritance, which I hear happens once every so often. Just not that sort of people, I suppose. So, yeah, there's a small insight into the Australian uh, views on sex education. In short, no dramas, just the facts. That's why I said on my first blog post, uh, my introductory one, I'm here to give you unbiased information, which is what I got, and when people get unbiased information, by gosh, they actually make responsible decisions. Shock horror. Anyway, I'm Ozzy Griffin, this is SexualFuturist.com, and I hope I have educated you, so you can educate others.